In this video, I will demonstrate one of the use cases of the RF Explorer Spectrum Analyzer. If you like to fly with a first-person view setup, then it's important to know what the RF noise floor is like and whether or not there are sources of interference that could potentially endanger your video link. One common source of interference for those who fly in the 1.3 band is L-band radars. You might think that it would only be an issue if you are just within a few miles or so from such a radar, but in fact, at this particular location, I am 22 miles away and still have a non-trivial amount of interference from that radar. In this example, I have my video transmitter set to a frequency of 1280 MHz, and the radar has a center frequency of 1286 MHz. What you are seeing right now is the strong signal coming from the video transmitter, since the spectrum analyzer is only 10 yards away. It is indicated as the M1 marker, and the radar is indicated as the M2 marker. I will now launch the plane, and you will start to see how the signal fades out as the plane travels some distance. The bottom center indicates the distance between the ground station and the airplane, currently displayed as meters, but will transition to kilometers after 1,000 meters. You can start to see the video signal fading quite rapidly in comparison to the radar signal. I will note also that for this experiment I have an Omni antenna on the spectrum analyzer and a Yagi antenna on the video receiver, which is why the video is still usable to some degree due to the higher gain antenna on the receiver. I may do a follow-up video using a powered RF splitter to supply the same antenna to both the spectrum analyzer and the video receiver. However, this still illustrates how the signal fades with distance traveled and how strong the interference is by comparison, in spite of it being 22 miles away.